So today I'm going to show how I refill the Brother laser printer toner cartridge with just powdered toner that I buy online. This is the Brother laser printer. Um, it's about $90 on Amazon. Um, and it's great because with an inkjet, you're always running out of those little ink cartridges. Um, but for you know, printing stuff on eBay, printing labels, printing invoices, you can print thousands with just one cartridge. The cool thing about the Brother printer is you are able to refill the cartridges with just powdered toner, um, so it's a lot cheaper. You just open the front and you kind of pull the cartridge out. And you actually take it out of this black um, container. So on the Brother laser printer, there are two sensors on either side here that tell that the toner is low. So something that a lot of people online have suggested to keep your toner going is to cover up the sensors. So I just use an opaque label right here to cover up the sensor. Once you take this off the holder, you can see the sensor down in the middle. So that's what we're trying to cover up just to extend our toner life first. So the reason we want to cover up the sensor is because, you know, normally when you're buying a printer, they want you to just buy this whole thing over again. And if you buy one from Brother, it's like 45, you know, $60 to buy it. So I cover up the sensor so that the toner will last longer because it will last longer than the manufacturer states. So when you buy your toner online, it will come in a little bottle like this or a size bigger than this or two bottles. It will also probably come with some gloves like this. So you really need to use some kind of gloves um, because as you can see on one of the bottles I've used, it's very powdery and it gets pretty dirty. You'll also want to work in an area with like a towel or some scrap, you know, drop cloth too. So the first thing you want to do is there's this little cap here that holds the toner in and you want to take that off. Now you could use a flathead screwdriver or I'm going to use a pair of pliers and you just kind of have to really like get it off there. It's, it's not always easy. The powdered toner kit should come with a little nozzle too so that it's easier to get the toner inside the cartridge. So you'll either take the cap off or some of them come uh, with ones that you have to just cut off with scissors. And you just dump it in there. Once this bottle is empty, that's enough to pretty much fill this whole thing. One bottle I think should last several thousand printouts, like maybe between, you know, two and four thousand printouts. So once you're done filling that, oh my god, sorry. You guys! So once you're done filling it up, you can just put the cap back on to really push it in there. And then you'll kind of want to, um, Go like this a couple times just to spread it out. So on this model, there's a little reset gear and it looks like this, it's this little black gear. And what you wanna do is you wanna move that back to the position that it was at so that it tells your printer that you've reset the toner so that you don't get the red toner light. So I just use a pair of pliers to do it. So that's just how you reset it. You can use pliers or um, like a flathead screwdriver just to reset it back. I have had this printer for about three years and I think I've refilled it about five or six times. I've actually sometimes only had to use half of this bottle and that was enough. For um, you know two bottles like this, it's basically under $10. So I'm just using the original cartridge that came with the printer. If you have bought a cartridge in the past as a refill, um, you can use that as well. It's not a special cartridge. So you can see that this area is a little messy and I got some toner on my hands. So it, it's easier to clean up if you keep like, you know, a designated area that you'll do this in. So we're done refilling. We're gonna put this back in the holder. 
And another thing you can do after you do this is um, on this model, there's a little button here that you can move back and forth to just clean the head or the drum. Just make sure you pop it all the way back into place or else it'll leave a line on the printout, but that's good to do after you've done the toner. Okay, and then I'll put the whole toner and drum back in. So once you turn it on, you'll wanna print out a test sheet and you do that by pressing the button four times. So this is just a test sheet. It shows you like how many printouts you've done total um, and just different information about your printer. But you can see on the very first test sheet, there was a little bit of extra toner there, but the other ones got clean. So I've had this printer for three years and I printed out 17,854 pages. And how much do you think it's cost you to fill up? Oh, less than $50. And a, a new cartridge from Brother is about $50. So you see how much money we saved. Digital scavenging.